right, gang. We are masturbated and caffeinated. I'm jacked. Jacked! I'm jacked to the test! Hi, my name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave, this is Blind Man Outdoors. And uh, if you're new here, I make YouTube videos. I build Canada's first canopy pop-up camper. I travel around a lot with my friends and do some really cool stuff outdoors. And I share all that with you guys on the internet. If you're into that kind of thing, I'm gonna encourage you to smash that like and subscribe button like everybody else do. If you're on Rumble, uh, I'm gonna encourage you to do whatever you do on Rumble. Uh, we had a big week last week. As you can tell, you've, uh, we, we, a light switch flicked and all of a sudden it was winter, uh, which is kind of how I expected it to happen. Um, just didn't expect it to happen that fast, but that's kind of how it happens here in Alberta, Canada. You wake up and it's winter, you went to bed and it was fall. That's just how it works. So we've got lots of snow on the ground. This week is the week that the half ton uh, Yucapat camper is going to be installed. There's a lot of stuff that has to happen immediately after that. Bringing the prototype back in, bringing the truck back into the shop, pulling the existing top that we have on it, replacing it with our current top um, so that it matches what we currently offer as a camper, and then we're hitting the road. We are doing something that we haven't done in a long time that's gonna require me to update my passport. Next is we got a plan. We are gonna be taking Yucca Pack south of the border uh, with the express intent on drumming up some more business. This is gonna be a really cool event for you guys or a really cool experience. Uh, it's gonna be a super cool experience for me because I've never done anything like this before. We're gonna be heading south to Moab, which is a place I have wanted to go almost my entire life. All right, I'm already, we've all, we're only two weeks into winter and I'm already trying to get out of it, so. Here is the breakdown of what is going on. I have less than 30 days to plan this. If you guys know me, you know I don't generally plan trips, but the truth about it is, is that this trip has an express intent, and therefore I have to have a plan of attack. So if you guys are in America, and you wanna see Yucapac Camper available in your area, the number one thing you need to do is go to the places that you're gonna buy this. Go to your parts manufacturers uh, and your RV suppliers and say, hey, this is what I want, can you get it? And then that will start the ball rolling and help us get into the people that we need to get to. I normally don't plan things like this. I usually run and gun. Uh, this is different. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but for now, guys, for now we gotta make sure we're tickety-boo for install. All right, Monday mornings, let's do it. Oh, 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 oh,
All right, guys, there we go. Not a bad way to start off the week. We got our first full-size Yucapac camper sitting on a very cool 2019 Dodge Ram pickup. And look at all that space, man. You got so much room for activities in here. Some family friendly, some not. That's what we're all about. We got the Molly panels, drop down table, which you guys are familiar with. Very few campers leave this spot without that drop down table. It seems to be our most popular option. As you see, the half ton also gets you a wider, uh, two wider cubbies as well, because we do widen it, obviously. And that's what you're looking at there. What do you think, Cedric? Love it, man. You love it? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. It looks great, man. Looks just great on that truck. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know the deal. If uh, you guys are interested in getting yourself a Yucapac camper, send me a message. It's Dave at blindmanoverland.com. You can also reach out to Tyler at Tyler at blindmanoverland.com. We will get you guys all sorted. We're ready to go here. The only thing left to do now is to update our prototype and then go on a little bit of a trip of our own and uh, meet up some of you guys down south of the border. So we're gonna wrap some things up here. I will talk to you guys once we're all done and Cedric is on his way. And uh, then we'll talk about the nitty gritty of what's happening next. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. We got parts. Shout out to Brandon from uh, Coastal Off-Road. This thing got here so fast, mind boggled. Guys, we just got the rear bumper kit for the Nissan Frontier. If you've been here for a while, you know that this build is an evolving build. It's one that has been going on a long time. And it might not be the most recognizable Nissan Frontier Off-Road adventure build out there, but it's probably one of them. Uh, I had talked with Coastal Off-Road last year a little bit before and I love the brand and uh, decided to reach out to them and say, hey, a lot of people are asking me about the bumpers that I'm rocking and I'm about to put a second bumper on it and it's going to be yours. So do you guys want to sponsor a video or sponsor the channel? And Brandon's like, yeah, we do. And I said, sweet. And so that is why this is here. You know... This time last year when the snow hit and we were wheeling that I said I needed to get the spare tire out of my uh, bottom of the truck because I just keep dragging ass through the snow and it's acting like a weight and I just don't want it on there so I needed to find a way to get it out. This is the way that I found out I'm going to do it and it's going to be awesome. This bumper does require cutting, it does require some fabricating, it does require some coating but it lets you do it yourself. I am a big fan of the DIY thing. And just to be straight up and honest, and this is just an opinion of mine, there is no better bumper that you can get for the Nissan Frontier than the coastal off-road bumpers, both front and rear. Approach, dis approach angles and descent angles are wild when, when you're with this bumper. They are heavy, but every bumper is gonna be heavy. And the aesthetics to it are just sick. It's just the coolest looking product out there, I guarantee it. Uh, and you will not be disappointed if you guys wound up with this bumper. It's probably the question I get asked the most is, what size of wheels and tires am I running? And where did I get the bumper and who makes it? So this is going to be an all-inclusive series, guys, on the Coastal Off-Road Bumper. We're not going to go through and build it on this video. We're going to wait for another video, but we are going to go through it, make sure everything's there. Uh, because, like I said, we don't have much time. We've got to get on the road. I've been talking too much already. Let's get into it. All right, so this, I'm assuming, is the steel for the tire carrier. That looks like it's all there. All right. 
Okay, so this is number three of four. Cut that out. Three of four. So that's three of four and two of four accounted for. No pun intended. This is gonna be all of our hardware. Got a nice bag of bolts here uh, with some bushings and bearings, which I'm assuming is again for the tire carrier. Yeah, these are all the little pieces, just so you guys can kind of see how these things come to you. So that's just nice laser cut steel. There's no crazy burrs on the edges, so they've deburred everything. It looks really, really nice actually. And it's, uh, yeah, it looks to be about just under a quarter, probably three eighths thick. I would say it's about three eighths thick. However, this guy is definitely, definitely over a quarter. So this is gonna be the actual um, plate that the, the, the tire carrier, uh, the tire swing out is gonna get all of its uh, strength from. It's gonna be a lot of weight and it's gonna be bouncing around and whatnot. So this has to be super thick because that big bolt's gonna go all the way through here and come out the other side and get on there with a nylock washer and that's where those bearings are gonna come into play as well. So we gotta make sure that this has to be welded really well, this portion here. And I don't see that they consider I don't see uh, a four of four on this pack on these packages at all. So although they're in here, um, I'm still missing package four of four, which might actually be in here. But for now, we've got the hardware. That can go on the trailer. The body. Now, just doing a really basic count in my head here. Nice shrink wrap job, guys. That is nice. That is nice to open. Anyway, like I'm saying, I'm just doing a, a vague count in my head on how many pieces I figure this should come in. And four doesn't seem like it's out of the question. Or three doesn't seem to be out of the question, so. Could be that whatever was left was an envelope with instructions in it, maybe. Okay. So there's only one piece in that package, and that's this piece here. So these are for your, your, your recovery points right here. They're going to slide in there, and then you're going to weld them. And you're going to flip it around, you're going to weld them on the backside. Always double weld your seams on any recovery point. And make sure you're getting really good, strong penetration because you do not want one of these to fly off on you when you're trying to do a sketchy recovery. Uh, like I said, I, I will probably be reaching out to I will be reaching out to FedEx tomorrow morning just to see where the other parts are, and then uh, we're going to package this all back up as soon as we confirm that we have everything that we need, and if not, get what we need. Then we will package it all up and uh, head over, take it all over to Jordan's place at which point we are gonna get it all welded together and then we're gonna start cutting the, cutting the frontier. There is a lot of cutting involved with this particular kit on this particular truck. So this rear bumper is not for the squeamish. And I think I hear cat screaming, which means she's probably outside. Well, don't do that then. Well, it's your own fault. It is the next day and uh, FedEx did in fact come in clutch. So we now have the last piece of the bumper. So let's rip this thing open right now. Make sure everything's inside here. Make sure our instructions are in this one because I didn't see any paperwork in the last stuff. There we go. And I see paper. All right, so there we go guys. We've also got the instruction manual and assembly instructions for the Nissan Frontier. You guys can kind of see how this works with this rear bumper. So it's a very narrow bumper. 
It's got crazy approach angles here. This is a tapered angle down here, and these are also tapered angles down here. But you can see where it's going to want to cut, and you're basically going to follow that line of where the rear tailgate matches all the way around the side of the boxes. And uh, when we actually do the install video for this, I will show you guys exactly how you're going to want to cut that. But for now, we got all the parts we need, so it is go time. Uh, next step is to get this to Jordan um, and then make the cuts on the bumper. I don't know what process, what, what order we're going to do things in yet, though. If we're going to tackle the top off of the camper first or make the cut on the Frontier first, um, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, good, good way to start. Good way to start. That's going to do it for us today, uh, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you guys like this kind of stuff, this, this kind of content, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're a small, we're small cheese here. So uh, you guys, the audience determines uh, a lot on both Rumble and YouTube. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, uh, interact with us. Drop a comment, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button or whatever because there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys want uh, anything else, any more information, feel free to DM me. Uh, I do answer most, most of my DMs. Uh, we'll go from there. Somebody's here.